Tigers, the famous American volunteer group, wing their way across China for the last time as volunteers. For eight months, these Chinese signs have been the only insignia of the most spectacular and efficient fighting force in aviation history. Now, wearing the emblem of their native land, the U.S. Air Force, they become regular officers with American flying forces fighting in China. A Jap flag for every plane shot down. 200 in less than four months. Leader of the volunteers, Brigadier General Cheneau, now promoted to command all American flying forces in China. Here he outlines the field of operations. With flags and souvenirs, a grateful Chinese people pay simple tribute to the airmen who have done so much to clear the skies over their embattled land. Clearing the skies for much needed supplies. Supplies which in turn are exchanged for the valuable raw products of China. Losing no time, the new command plots the strategy of attack. By an elaborate far-flung system of Chinese listening posts, word is flashed, Japanese planes on the way, and the red ball goes up over the field. Signal for pilots to take to their ships. The Flying Tigers going into action for the first time in the uniforms of Uncle Sam. Newly assigned pilots go with the veterans. Schooled in the fighting tactics, Cheneau has proven superior. Roaring aloft, they seek the enemy. Their flying generals still at the controls. The new American Air Force over China, carrying on the tradition of the famous Flying Tigers.